Dečka se teško zjedi, ovozi ga hitna. Ja ću doći sa tamo i sve ću mu objasniti. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. Kaj glumiš što imaš? Pa imam G36! Pucat! Blackhawk down. This event was organized by Airsoft Team Legionnaires. Four hundred airsofters participated in the international military simulation. The script was a continuation of last year's fight between the eternally warring parties and these are GDI and NOD. For more info, you can watch Season 1, Episode 8 on my channel. I was especially thrilled that the organizer connected the story from last year. This contributes to an even greater experience of the event, which promises third sequel in the month of May in year 2023. Players were divided on Nod and GDI forces. However, on this battlefield there was third faction, United Nations. Unlike classic airsoft events, UN units maintained a balance between the warring parties by directly interfering in the fight and thus triggering new unexpected missions that spurred negotiations and new military tactics. The codename Black Hawk Down is justified and it should be clear to anyone that this is a team inspired by the movie, so the organizer prepared a model of a helicopter in the middle of the fight, culminating in spectacular detonation of explosive devices and fireworks. My teammates were selected to join in platoon number 2. Our mission was quick action task force and that suited me. Our platoon leader was Mr. Keresha from Airsoft Team Podravina, 
and not commanders or guys from airsoft team Paladin. Players are getting ready for their platoon briefing. Everything's supposed to be on schedule. No time should be wasted. Airsoft teams have to be very well prepared to keep the pace. Slacking and superficiality comes with a price, therefore you better be ready. Planning mode activated. Intelligence data updated. Mission one was to secure North Bunker, capture Black Hawk helicopter and fill it with fuel. Our mission was to help civilians cleanse village from oppressing GDI forces, push them back through forest and capture vantage point which is mesh in the middle. From there we can respond while enemy should go back to base. This is our priority. Before we start, let's go to the loadout screen. I have already made video about this loadout and if you are interested in full details and upgrades, you can find it on my channel. But basically, I'm using Navrich SSG-10 A3 model Gilly suit SSX 303 as DMR sidearm and WE high kappa for CQB. All weapons are fully upgraded, and if you want to learn more, find it in previous videos. I found Russian team Suvorov already making progress. They forced enemy to retreat into the forest. 
Now we have to fight our way inside with minimum casualties because GDI have the vantage point. They can respawn inside the forest while our dead players we have to go back to base. I have five smoke grenades on me and I really love them. They provide perfect visual cover. I have to apologize for the video because I thought that I really don't need a scope cam. Since I have upgraded sniper with range up to 100 meters, my 4K GoPro camera did not capture my kills. And also I already have so many items on me, plus having one more scope cam I thought oh man it would be just too much. But um, when watching this video <laughs> I really feel sorry that I cannot zoom that far away. Usually, good airsoft videos must have scope cams, but hey, that's what everybody does. <laughs> Due to lack of scope videos, I will dedicate much more attention to the event itself. Thank you. Control point captured. Battle control expanded. New bonus objective. Since we were crushing GDI units, the UN forces opened mortar strikes on us, just to keep the balance in game. Alliance broken. Unit lost. Ace defenses offline. Our base is under attack. Uh, 15, 20 meters. Ah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zauhitna Secondary objective achieved. New rally point established. Battle control expanded. Establishing video uplink. I am Kane. When I get your troops back from the States, I want you to take what men you have left and secure this abandoned GDI base. Once in, 
build up an arsenal of weapons, and use them to wipe out the remaining GDI presence. Oh, and congratulations on your promotion. GDI is now trying to recapture control point. We call for reinforcements to help us defend our position. Reinforcements have arrived. Čistimo GDI. Čujemo se obzor prijem. I always mention this and I will mention it again. The most important gear after glasses are boots. Why you will see in this video. This is a military simulation. This is not a walk in the park. My friend dislocated both of his ankles and he was unable to walk for a few months. Something similar happened to me. And you might be next. So buy the goddamn army boots and please do not forget that this is a military simulation. This is not a walk in a park. And right there, I can see one. Two, three guys and few guys over there. It is important to hide, even from dead enemy players. We are waiting them to go away, so we can surprise others from behind. Now, this is what I was talking about. I feel so bad that I didn't invest enough money in recording equipment. Here I really miss scope cam because I've got like 12 kills in a row and you can see shit because of the leaves and the bushes. Oh man, I really feel bad about this. Yeah, I need to earn more money and buy scope cam. Maybe next time. If we cannot confirm a player's team patch, we have to ask security question before we shoot. Sometimes we make team kills and that's just okay. Then you can go back to mesh or camp and have some fun. The stupidest thing you can do when someone team kills you is to argue with them. Just enjoy, it's still a game. Thank you, thank you. If you are not prepared or if you have wrong picture of Milsim, you can hurt yourself or even end up in hospital. You will have to prepare for camping Take enough food, water, minerals, med packs, clothes, batteries, survival equipment. You will see that you have to be experienced camper on events like this. We can attack UN base only if they attack first, or we can negotiate with them. UN players are respected teams, Alpha Army Team and Joint Task Force 2. No, the other joint. Yeah, that one. Okay. 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 Okay.
I jupi. Dobro, ok. Znači, vaši po njega nosili ga nazad i nastradali po putu. Znači, na putu prema vaše bazi. Eto, jedna informacija koja ti jako puno znači. Nos strana je krenula iz baze. Našla je svoj VBR na ovoj lokaciji i dominirali smo prvi dio dana teren gdje smo zadržali i osvojili, razminirali i osvojili bunker. Tu smo cijeli dan na najgorem suncu držali bunker. Locirali smo Black Hawk Down kojeg smo punili sa lož uljem da ne može uzletiti i terorizirati nas. I tu smo držali liniju prema neprijateljima. Neprijatelj je ovaj položaj držao prema tu. Locirali smo u Enovu bazu, selo i dva mosta. Meša dva i za sada smo penetrirali skroz do ovdje negdje neprijateljske teritorije. Tu smo našli centar za komunikaciju. U Enovci počeli pucati ovoga po nama i to ovdje. Je, a NATO nas je napao u mešu, NATO nas je okružio na bunkeru cijelo vrijeme. A NATO smo nastavili na agresivnu akciju prema njima, čim ih vidimo. Moraš mi naći njihovu bazu, njihov VBR, njihov top. A tu ti ima 1,2 km od naše baze do njihove baze. Prepostavljam da je ovdje baza. Znači levo od helikoptera gori. Po novi lokaciju neprijateljske baze, prijem. A šta je na Papa 21, prijem? Naša trenutna lokacija je Papa 21. Zaprijem joj, prijem. Prijem joj. Imam njihovu bazu, VBR-am ću i gađati, imam njihovu bazu. Ajde, možemo. Plus trepala mi replika. A dobro, imam drugu. Da nismo je robiju. VBR ću uskoro trebat, budi pripravan. Moraš okrenut VBR di ti kažem i spalit. Moderator dolazi s raketama, prijem. Još ne. Ovo mi provjeri tu. Black Hawk, ovdje ti je bunker. Ovdje ti je Earth Lugan, kad drže ovo tu mi provjeri. Nakon toga prođe do tuč. A to su dječki. 45 metri. Ne treba biti baza, tu. Vidiš koliko ih ima? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, desetak ih je tu. Tu mi je meš. E, i sad tu negdje im je baza unutra. Tu. Tu unutra? Da, ko je ratovan u te Ukrajini rade s tim. Znači tu negdje probaj locirati puteljak i tu im je negdje baza. Evo tvrdi ću naceljati, vidiš ih? Da, vidim ih. E, idu, idu, idu lijevo. E, jel tu možeš poteljak? Idu lijevo, evo, to je poteljak, to je poteljak. Daj probaj naći tu šatru. Enemy commando detected. Prijem, ako možete, eliminiraj zapojenika, prijem. While NAD drone was scanning the battlefield for enemy control points, infantry units were delivering rockets to the MLR system. Enemy could attack at any time and rob fairly stolen rockets. In case of GDI lurking for ammo crate, they will not attack because we have two enforced squads ready to defend and prevent possible encounter. Enemy base sighted. Roger that. Continue to engage. Continue to engage. Just be advised. The friendly is on the high ground. Friendly is moving from the south. Over. We got a black hawk down. We got a black hawk down. We got a black hawk down. Towards that. Go. 7-3 up. Enemy base sighted. Priem. 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 Straža! Pripravna! Zaustavi! Idem do baze. Škrga, imaj vezu u sebe, idemo ovo riješiti, kaj si mi rekao. 
from this moment on, I could not play anymore, since one player got serious injuries. Unfortunately, it was my teammate. However, I managed to grab camera and record a few more interesting footage. Okay. <laughs> Da, a gle, prije susreta se treba ono full full razgibati. Da li imao prave šuze? Ne znam da li je prave šuze imao. Da nadam se da će biti sve okej. U okolici Daruvara smo negdje. To cut the long story short and to better explain what happened, I made a cartoon that best describes the situation. Here it is. Here's my teammate frolicking around the battlefield. Money his own damn business with la grenade. Come on in, soldier! You want a piece of me, boy? Now throw and kill the enemy! <laughs> now, get up! You still have one leg left! Throw that grenade and kill the enemy! You poor damn son of a bitch! Get up and kill the enemy! You still have a live grenade! Entschuldigung! <laughs> Guten Tag! Ein bisschen! A few moments later... Der hat Tränen und die laufen vom Gesicht Doch der Haifisch lebt im Wasser So die Tränen sind... <laughs> Good job, soldier! Always stretch before the training and wear army boots! In 8.00, everyone is ready for the night. They need to hold the line. Because the Black Hawk Down is below the dark. The opposing side is also on the sign of the moderator. We all move one another and we have to locate the CIA agent who has the agent with the Black Hawk Down. The CIA agent we have to bring to the base and we will get the points. Oh, yeah! Patrol! Hello! Bok ekipa. Bok bok. Bok bok. Wow, gospodski. Tako lijepo. Dobro momci. Dođenja. On events like this, you won't have time to make mistakes. Everything you do is supposed to be practical and fluent. Things are happening so fast and the adrenaline is rushing from beginning to the end. We had 10 medical interventions. We spent around 3500 liters of water 
14 firefighters attended on explosive night mission, ambulance was available throughout the game. Six interventions, one epileptic seizure, two dehydrations, one injury regarding dislocated joints, one fainted player due to knife injury. There were other dehydrated players, but no interventions was necessary. Police was available throughout event and everything was completed on professional level. Hey, flashlight. Take a good one and over. Ko će nas sad spasiti jebote bog? Daj, beta, beta, Deni. Jel imamo plavi kill regova još? Kod se ih ponavljaju. Idi, idi, idi do hitna i tamo i zamoli Tonija. Srni kombi da se prevezi. Srni kombi da se prevezi do hitna. Bomba ovo je. Kako je sve zanimljivo. Bomba, ludnica. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Pivu na pivu složi, ajde. Ajde Žmirko, daj složi pivu na pivu. Pa je bok te jebo. Retardirano kak je. Aha, ovo kuti je. Eee, isi ti nije lepo, ti nikad nismo skužiš. Ok. Ja tebe obožavam. Ti je buz. The fight went on for the next 7 hours. Unfortunately, I was not able to play. Regardless of the night mission, the battle continues from early morning hours. Okay. <laughs> Jedan, vod jedan, držao sjevernu stranu bunker cijel, većinu dana. Drugi dio je držao Black Hawk Down i dva meša i ovdje smo zatvorili prodiranje suprotne strane. Vod dva se spustio skroz ovdje i tu smo ih dominirali na terenu. Nisu mogli veliku većinu dana probiti naše linije. Trenutna situacija noćnog djelovanja je bila da smo se spustili ovdje Držali smo most 1, most 2, bunker smo držali i penetrirali smo protivničku stranu i skinuli smo im bazu u četiri navrata. Također smo locirali antenu od protivničke strane i našu antenu. Jebote, kaj je bilo sa agentom, odnosno mislim da je agent bio zapravo vatrogasac? Agenta, nažalost, nismo ulovili. Samo bi još htio reći, znači... Timovi Slovenije su po najgorem suncu držali ovo jedno šest sati. Da, da. Dečki, imamo dečki koji su djelovali do pet ujutro, znači bez prestanka. Koji su to dečki bili, znaš koji tim? Vod 2, pod vodstvom Ninja, 
Da, bravo. Ok. Znaš što mi je bitno? Bitno mi je držati bunker i držati tu negdje liniju radi ova dva meša. Ako imam ova dva meša, držim ovaj teren, dominiram, ne mogu nigdje. Sve ostale ću slat dolje na most i most. Ok. Da ih zatvorimo kako mi zatvorili po danu i to je to. Ok. Znači bitno nam je da imamo oba dva meša, onaj kod uena i desno kod šume, što znači da ćemo... A, ono je šume. Ima i onda onaj još drugi prema mustaču. Možemo i onaj tamo kod njihova... Airsoft Team Zagreb. On first sight you can already tell how serious their team is. Airsoft Club Zagreb is formed in year 2006. You can see their synchronized loadout and feel the years of experience. Which reminds me, regarding broken legs, I was on the one event with them and I heard players talking. One of them said, hey, your shoelace is untied, now drop down and give me 20 push-ups. Some random freelancers might find this stupid and funny, but let me ask you, would you rather give 20 push-ups or end up in hospital? I think we all know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Legionnaires made really amazing event. This was only their second event. Now they are planning another meal sim later this year. I spoke with organizer and he said he will organize smaller event because they can have more control over players and everything can go smoothly. And that's okay. But hear me, I didn't notice anything wrong with organization and players. There will always be some fucking idiot that will talk shit about anything. And even if the organizer uh, creates practical event, there will always be someone to talk shit. Okay, let's deal with them. But what can legionnaires do? Can they push the boundaries and move forward? They showed us what real event is. The point is that there are so many stuff left behind. In the next event, I would like to see what everyone wants from a milsim. Military vehicles. We want big fucking full-on military experience. I mean, if they can cooperate with ambulance, firefighters, police, why not with military, if Croatian army refuses? <laughs> Just ask our neighbors and see how everything is possible. <laughs> Naš top je pogodio njihov top, pogodio njihovu bazu. Tu smo eliminirali 12 ljudi, tu 4 ljudi. Odavde kreće 100 ljudi i napada bazu. Opa! Opa! Brra, brra, ne hrsti bok, mi se varao. Brra brra, the fist of the hand will be open. Brra brra, the heart of the people is in the house. Brra brra, the harm of the dream and the abudia. Brra brra, the spur of the dead is in the dark. Brra brra, the nojum is caught in the conditions. Brra brra, the pachy is at the last hole. Brra brra, ma bqa sajra sektu l'tiyo Brra brra, ma bqa lila l'har l'tar maw Brra brra, janna ma ma bqa zin Brra brra, the tears of men, the blood of the martyrs. Brra 